Hey guys, it's Fran. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is in my travel makeup bag. In about a week or so, I will be on vacation. So I thought I would share with you guys what I carry and what I bring with me on vacation, what I use to store my makeup and everything. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on any other future videos. And if you guys want to know what is in my travel makeup bag, then just keep watching. I don't want to miss a beat. All right, so we're just going to talk a little bit about this bag before we dive right into what's inside. So I actually got this bag off of Amazon. This was only $20 and that was pretty good to me. That's pretty cheap. Like if you think about a makeup bag and it's pretty like heavy duty it's pretty hard um it's like good quality i feel like my makeup will be really safe in here because a lot of makeup bags are just madely made very cheaply i just feel like my makeup is not gonna stay safe when i'm traveling because i always check my makeup in my suitcase i always put it in my suitcase um i don't bring it on the plane so i got this off amazon it's by Rose Max, I think I'm saying it correctly. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in checking out this bag. They actually come in a bigger version of this. Um, I kind of wish I got the bigger version because I feel like this one is a little bit small for me, but I really didn't want to pack a lot of makeup on this trip because I just won't be really wearing a lot of makeup. I'll be mostly like just wearing like a tinted moisturizer or maybe a little bit of concealer and that's it. Maybe this is a good thing I got this because it makes me not want to pack as much. Let's just open this up and see like what is inside because I'm so excited to just kind of share this with you. All right guys, so let's open this up. So when you open up, this is what it looks like. It has foam all around here and it has these like little dividers that you can take out and then pop back in. So this isn't really organized in any certain way. I just kind of put stuff where I felt like it fit best. Um, I just put like three big compartments because I feel like that was the best way to fit my stuff. If I had the bigger one, I feel like I would have more room and more other like smaller compartments and stuff like that. So let's start over here. So I just have my beauty blender. Um, it's kind of dirty, I know. Um, I just did my makeup, so that is why it's, a lot of this stuff is probably dirty. I'm gonna clean it before I go on my trip. And then I just have a highlighting beam. It's by the Beauty Crop, the Lighting Crew Nourishing and Pineapple Green Tea. So this is like a looming highlighting cream, especially because I'm going to be on the beach a lot. This would be great just to put all over. I have a couple I, of those that I brought. I brought the glam glow but this is like illuminating moisturizer so if i just wanted some kind of moisture because i will be out on in the sun a lot this would probably be a little bit better of a choice and then i have another one it's by mac this is the strobe cream um this is really great if you want more of like illuminating finish to your makeup um before and then I just have the Poor Professional Primer by Benefit. And then I just have by First Aid Beauty this um, intense hydration for dry parched skins. My skin will probably be really dry out there because it's going to be so hot and humid. So just to make sure it's, it stays hydrated. I just have this night cream just to make sure my under eyes are hydrated because my under eyes get super dry i don't know why it just they do and it's so annoying and then i just have my sharpener just for like lip pencils eyeliners stuff like that then this is clean and clear acne spot treatment this is what i always put on at night and then i have my glitter primer i might be bringing some glitter. I actually did not put it in yet. I'm not really sure if I'm going to. All right, so let's go over to this section. So I have some cotton rounds and then I have some Q-tips just for my makeup. Sometimes if I get mascara or anything on my eyeshadow, I just use these to wipe it off. And then I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And then I have the Jeffree Star Translucent 
powder. This is like one of my favorite powders. I just started using this a couple weeks ago and I'm absolutely in love. The fragrance in this is so good. I don't know what it is. And then I just have a couple of highlighters. I have the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters. But I think they just continue this. I think this was just like a limited edition. And then I have the Jeffree Star Diamond Wet um, Supreme Frost. Like, do you guys see this? Like, look at this beauty. Can we get a close up? And then um, I have a moisturizer. This is the Vitamin E Face Moisturizer. Um, definitely need to stay moisturized and hydrated because I'm gonna be in the hot sun. And then I have a couple of mascaras. I have the Smashbox mascara. And then this mascara is by 100% Pure. Um, they use a lot of natural ingredients in their stuff, so those are two of my favorites right now. And then I have the Milk Makeup. This is like the tattoo stamp. This is in the this is the star one. Can you guys see that? I'm not really sure. Just in case I want to like add something like interesting to my look. So it's just like a star. That's what it looks like. All right, and then I have my brow pencil by Anastasia. This is like my favorite brow pencil to do my brows. One of my favorites. And then I have my Makeup Forever bronzer. So this is like one of my favorites. This is like the best shade. I've ever found because I feel like because I am pretty fair a lot of bronzers do get very muddy on my skin and I'm literally hit pan and I'm gonna need a new one pretty soon but yeah all right and then let's go over to this section right here so I have a couple of brushes that did not fit in the brushes compartment so I just have just like a crease brush like a finer like pencil kind of brush can you guys see that like this is like a foundation brush like or concealer brush and then I just have my shadow shields these are like my favorite especially if I'm doing my face first it helps with fallout and it kind of helps like make your eyeshadow look a lot cleaner and then I just have my lash curler this is from Sephora I've been using this for so many years and it gets the job done this makes my lashes look so long and yeah and then i just have by marcelle this is a bb cream and golden glow this might actually like match my skin tone because when i first got this this was like really like way too dark on me so i think that matches pretty well but if i'm looking i want some sort of color but i don't want like a huge heavy foundation this will be really good and yeah and then I just have my concealer. This is by Fenty Beauty. This is in the color 130. I think this is just a little bit too light for me. I usually use this just to highlight. The other concealer I have is by It Cosmetics. This is in the color light neutral. This one usually matches me a lot more, but if I do want a little bit of a highlight under the eye, I will add this concealer into it just to give more of like a highlighted look and then I just have um, my current foundation that I've been using lately is by L'Oreal the infallible longwear shaping stick this does have sunscreen and it has SPF 27 and that's great because I will be in the Sun and I still will be protecting my skin this is in the shade 404 shell beige this is what it looks like it matches pretty well because I've gotten a slight tan I'm usually like like light neutral or light or just anything on the lighter spectrum but yeah I'm usually not this color but I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more of these um, before my trip just in case I do get a tan and this just doesn't match me anymore because if I do want to put a full coverage foundation on because you don't want that like really white face and then that tan skin so I'm probably gonna have to pick up just a couple shades darker all right then the next thing is the morphe eye primer have to get this make sure like, your shadow stays on all day long 
And then I just have some lip liners. These are from Kylie Cosmetics. I just have some Jeffree Star lipsticks. I brought a couple. I didn't know which ones I wanted. So I have Jeffree's Girl. Have, this is Jeffree Who. And then I have Mannequin. And then this is Birthday Suit. This one's Dream House, I think that's called. Yeah, Dream House. And then the last one is Watermelon Soda. So I have a mix of neutrals and some other brighter colors. Then we have the brushes. So in this compartment, it has places for your brushes. I have a bunch of face brushes, blush brush. I'm definitely going to clean these before I go on vacation. Um, my foundation brushes. I have the Jeffree Star one. I have the Morphe brush. And then I have a bunch of like eye, um, eye brushes. I have a highlighting brush. And then I have those extra brushes that did not fit in here. And then, then this has like a zipper pocket. And in here it comes with a mirror. Hello, hi, how are you guys? You can see me. But yeah, it comes with a mirror that's really great because especially if you're like traveling and you don't like really have any like a mirror or like you're in the car doing your makeup, this would be great for. And then I'm kind of disappointed because this does not, like none of my eyeshadow palettes fit in here. It's just like there's not enough room for my eyeshadow palettes because I have just like they're just too big and I wish like I did because I want to wear eyeshadow one night to dinner or something like fortunately it does not fit in there I'm going to be bringing the jawbreaker palette and then this is the morphe um, 35h palette so I'm gonna just gonna be bringing you two palettes. I'll put them in like a plastic bag so they are protected and hopefully they do not break because that makes me a little nervous that they don't fit in this carry-on case. But I feel like next time I would definitely purchase the bigger one. All right, guys, so that was everything in my travel makeup bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like travel types of videos, definitely comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any other future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hi.